In this video, I'll be talking about the TCP three-way handshake. Now, I've already gone over most of the components in the three-way handshake, so the SIN, SIN, ACK, ACK. Okay, but what I haven't gone over is something known as state transitions. Well, TCP states, well, there are 11 TCP states, most of which actually have to do with shutting down a TCP connection, but there are some that have to do with opening up and establishing a TCP connection. In fact, established is a TCP state. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for a demonstration here is I will launch a server on Mindbender. And the way I'll do that, I'll just use Netcat. So SSH, Mindbender, get right in. Okay, now Netcat uh, set a listener. So that is going to set, create basically a Netcat server Netcat listener port, uh, and I'll use port um, 9999. Okay, there we go. So now I have my server. Now, what is basically what a server is, is known as a passive open connection. Passive open meaning it's listening for, it's listening for an incoming connection. And let me show you. So open up another connection, SSH back into Mindbender, and put up and do a watch and netstat. So look at netstat and I'll use ANT. So what we'll do is looking at this, well, you know, I'll expand this out a bit so you can see what we're, what I'm talking about. What these, oh geez, I have a lot. Okay, so what these all are, notice the state category. Now what these all are, are the different TCP connections. Now these are the, the well, not all of them, but these are the servers that are listening. So we have the listening, these are all the services that are listening on Mindbender. And one of which is at the top here, happens to be at the top, is 9999. That is my netcat listener. And notice the all zeros. The all zeros basically mean that it's listening on any interface. Of course, this is a loopback interface. So it, uh, TCP, you can specify which interface um, the server is listening on, but you cannot specify um, incoming connection. Okay, so there's our listener, so that's our server. The server is also known as the passive open device. So what I'll do is I will open up another terminal and create our client that's going to establish the connection. So the, the client is known as the active open device and the current state of the client is nothing. So we have, no, it, it's a null state. It's actually called a fictional closed state. So netcat net mindbender and 9999. Before I do that, of course, I'm gonna open up Wireshark, set a capture filter, whoops, capture filter for port 9999. And that should do it. And bam. Okay, so let's see if we create. Okay, we got our three way handshake, but let's open up on the client our netstat into, and we'll grep out 9999. Oh, okay. Grep 9999. Okay, anyway, so that's what we have. We have our established connection. So right now, the two states that, that I've told you about are listen and established. So if we look over here back at the server, the server is also going to have an established connection. So netstat dash ant, and we'll grab 9999 again. And did I spell something wrong? Yes, I did. I'm typing too fast. And there we have it, we have another established connection. Now, if we notice the um, the source and destination addresses, source and destination ports, port, this is gonna be our ephemeral port right here, which of course matches, and they both have a state of established. And you can tell in our Wireshark capture that it completed the three-way handshake. Now, there's some stuff that we haven't seen yet though. So some states that it kind of passes through so quickly, you don't really, rare, you rarely even see them, so what this of course is, is the initial SYN packet. Now, before the initial SYN packet is created, right when I hit enter in the application, everything is created, everything is generated. The initial sequence number, the ephemeral port, all of that stuff. And what happens is, it, as soon as it creates the SYN packet, the client transitions into a state called SYN sent, SYN sent. And um, when this client is in SYN sent, that's, during the phase of time when the client, where the SYN packet is traversing the network and it's now listening for the response. So, so the SYN sent state is actually a listening state, but it's listening for the ACK 
well, the SYNAC, and it's listening on the ephemeral port that is created. So it's only listening for that one thing. So at this period of time, if you, if you imagine there's an imaginary line, that is where this right here is where the client is in the SYN sent state. Well, as soon as the SYN packet hits the server, the server is going to fork the process. It's, it's going to, so it's going to create another process on top, uh, on top of the listening process and that's going to be able to handle the connection. And it's also going to transition to the SYN received. So at that point, is the SYN ACK is going to be generated. So, so it is now in the SYN received. So SYN received is going to be waiting for the acknowledgement. So it's now listening, that connection, that new connection that was forked is going to be listening for the, the acknowledgement back. So as soon as the SYN ACK hits the client, the client immediately transitions to established. So the client transitions to established first, prior to the server. So the server, well, and that's because the SYN packet was acknowledged. So by, as according to the client, from the client's perspective, bi-directional communication has been established. So it, it knows that it has everything it needs at that point. Um, well, the server at that moment in time does not have everything it needs. It still needs to have its SYN packet acknowledged, which is going to be the final SYN in the three-way handshake, which of course comes from the client. And then as soon as it hits the server, the server pops, the server becomes established. So that's how we both have both sides established. Now, once the connection is established, each connection, neither one is a client or a server at that point. So either, both have full reign, both have full ability to, to send data back and forth as needed. So both can be bi-directional bulk transfers if they want to, and TCP is more than capable of doing that. So what I'll do is I'll put up in the corner here uh, the TCP state transition diagram. Now, there is, um, there's two of them. There's one that's extremely confusing, and don't look at that one if you're new, because it, it confuses me still to this day. It's ridiculous, honestly. But I'll put the easy one, and the easy one to to look at it, it pretty much spells out exactly what i said just he, right here is the uh, the client goes into the sin sent state hits the server the server goes into the sin received state and then the client becomes established then the server becomes established it's actually fairly simple don't look at that other one it's kind of bull crap so anyway i think that should do it okay that that's it it's not that hard so hope you learned something thanks for watching